God so loved the world that he gave and he has given to me to give freely to you. The only freedom that I experience is because I have and I know Jesus as my Lord and Savior. My life has been redirected in a path that he set and I'm able to live for an audience of one. No longer am I looking to get the approval of family, friends, uh, the world, workplaces. I'm living for an audience of one. And that's a lot easier to do than what I used to do in the past. If one person is unhappy with the way I'm conducting myself, then I adjust. If another person takes offense to that, well then I have to adjust again. And another person may take an offense to that because of something they experienced in their past, and then I have to adjust again. And then you end up on this roller coaster or merry-go-round, just not getting anywhere, just staying in the same spot, trying to please everybody. We're people pleasers. You know, that is what a person who is directed by the approval of others is, a people pleaser. But under the guidance of God, you can become one who has an audience and lives for an audience of one. And the only thing that we have to do is take what has already been given to us through the Holy Spirit, which is the teaching of the, the Word, and allow it to shape our lives. We don't have to worry about going to church and what people will think about us. Uh, the Holy Spirit teaches us. He's in our heart. He teaches us and He convicts us. It is up to us to live according to those convictions. So what I, what I want to do now is open up a new series to share my journey and how I got to this point. The people that I've listened to, the new foundation that I have, and the, the hole in my heart, that God-shaped hole that's now filled, be able to share that with you and to just emphasize the fact that it was a God-shaped hole. There is nothing in this entire planet that could fill that hole. Not love of another person, not love of even your child, not approval of a workplace, not a million dollar paycheck. There is nothing that can fill that hole but the love of your Heavenly Father.